guys welcome back to the channel today uh, I'm gonna be doing a speaker uh, upgrade on the Bronco because the speakers that uh, that come in here trash they got it they got to come out so I ordered new speakers uh, they actually came in so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, swap these out to uh, sit back and enjoy so the speakers that I have for the front sorry about that are these uh, Kent Woods here, four inch, uh, four inch speakers, pushing 220 watts, but you know that well that's the max peak or whatever. But um, with the factory unit, you probably don't get about 80 to 100 watts um, going to each speaker. So I ordered two for the front, uh, two for the rear. And then I also have these base blockers is gonna go on these and these, you know, because they're so small, you know, it doesn't really need base or whatever, and I don't wanna blow them, which I highly doubt that the factory unit is gonna blow it anyway, but just to get a, a good clarity out of them, I'm gonna put the base blockers on and um, see how it sounds. This is, the, this is the old speaker here. It's how big and bulky it is, then you got the tip on as well. Then I got two other six and a halves. I'm probably gonna go with the Audio Legion, but I also have the uh, JVC here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'll probably go with the Audio Legion because they're louder. But uh, this pushes a 150, and I believe the JVC pushes around 220. But with this horn on it, it'll be uh, extra loud. So this will be the one that I uh, put in. And uh, this is the old one. As you guys can see, it takes a lot to uh, get that uh, speaker pod out so this is the clip like this here so it's not hard to get this out it just pretty much um, once the, the back in here is on you know what I'm saying it's like um, got the the two clips here and then the two slide in so in order to get this off you just uh, slide it forward and pull it and then unclip the clips in the um, right here and then to put it back on, you just, you know, slide it back on and then press the clips in. But down here, I'm doing a six and a half. So we're on the passenger, I mean, on the uh, driver's side or whatever to get the um, this speaker out. Just did the uh, passenger side. Now on the driver's side, you got the clips that pops out here. Then this has to pop up, pop out at the top. And then you come down here and you pop uh, this clip here. Now the tricky part is here. You will never notice it, but this here pops up because it's a hidden, it's like a hidden, I don't know, I can't even call it a feature, but it's just hidden and no one will know how to actually take it off. So just get your um, ply um, tool or whatever. Let's go through and pop those clips that's on there. And once you do that, let me turn this light on here. See, it has a bolt here and a bolt here. I think there's 10 mils, but let me get my uh, sockets. So yeah, it's a, it's a 10 mil. So you do that and this whole piece should slide out. Make sure you don't lose those uh, bolts or whatever. So now you have that uh, exposed. So you see the two there. So that's what you're looking for. So now let's go ahead and go and uh, get this uh, get this off. So on the driver's side, the positive is blue, and the negative is uh, the one with the brown in it. So you tap into both of those. So here, in order to take these off, oh, press the, has a button. You have to raise this panel here. So you uh, get that under there. I had to start it with uh, one of my wrapping tools. 
So I just started with that because it's very tight to get up in there. And then once you get this part uh, popped, the clips should pop right out. And that's the thing with the, with this. Let me see if I can go ahead and get it out. It's kind of tight because this edge uh, here. And as you can see, there is an opening for it. You just gotta find it. So the whole trim or whatever is like that, but it has an opening to be able to uh, get this tool in there so it can pop out, pop out. And then this is how the speaker looks. Held in by two uh, two bolts. So one here, one there. So let's go ahead and get this out. So you just need just a seven mil to get these uh get these off. Let me get that out. Get the clip back here. Let's unclip your clip. Let's clip out. This is a factory speaker here. Gonna get that out the way. Down here you got uh, your wires. So you're gonna have two wires. So on the, uh, on the passenger side, for the positive, it's uh, purple and gray. And the yellow is, uh, is this one. And on the driver's side, it's uh, green and blue. So let's go ahead and get these opened up so we can test these speakers. You put them, put them back in. One thing that I didn't know um, when I hooked these speakers up was that uh, down at the bottom, those wires needed to uh, be connected as well. The two that are left, um, but the two, the two that um, it's not hooked up, saying that down at the rear speaker, those actually run to the top. So those actually has to be uh, to begin power as well. So I guess they run off the same frequency. So I guess these are not technically not called speakers. I guess they technically called tweeters. So in order to put this back on, you slide this back on first and then you uh, snap the clips down. So that's how that goes in. With the rear, it's pretty easy to uh, get off. Just get your pick tool, just uh, stick it in the side. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Then you got the uh, two uh, two screws right there. like the other one so you have the wires exposed or whatever and on is which is kind of weird on both sides um, the positive wire is the one with the stripe is the black wire with the stripe and then the solid black is uh, the negative wire and on this side it's the same way so I got it on Got the base blocker on. New speaker. Go ahead and get that uh, bolted on so we can see how this thing uh, sounds. And then just take the cover. Pop the cover right back on. There you go. There it is right there guys. Like I said, it was a quick install. 
Um, well, I take that back. It wasn't quick because I ran into a problem with the speakers, as you guys saw, that the, at the bottom, those wires also need to be, uh, be connected as well in order for the top uh, speakers to work. So that was the only issue that I had. But as far as like uh, getting it in and out and getting it wired up, it was pretty simple. Um, took me about about an hour and a half to uh, to get all this done, but it's all done, you know. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like, like the video. I mean, that helps me. That helps me out a lot. It's hot right now. Hot right now. So you know, if I get 24 views, 30 views, some, you know what I'm saying, 80 views, it don't matter. I should have 80 likes. You know what I'm saying? That helps me out with the algorithm uh, on YouTube or whatever. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. You guys have a blessed day.